Hey, what's going on, family? It is Thick Chick Vlogs. Please make sure you start this video off by clicking that thumbs up button. Y'all, it is... Oh, shit. Look. I don't know who gonna piss me off in the next coming weeks, days, or whatever. But I'm gonna need them to go ahead on and do it. This goddamn eye right here been jumping for the last two weeks. As soon as I turn this goddamn video on, it wanna flutter and shit. That shit is so annoying. I know it might be minute to some people, but this shit been flutter. And it's my left eye. Y'all know what the old folks say. Shit, you know, your left eye jumping, that means somebody gonna piss you off. Your right eye jumping, that means you're gonna be happy about something. But, girl, I'm gonna need whoever plan on pissing me off to go ahead on and piss me off because this shit right here is for the birds. But anyway, I'm not gonna do no disclaimers on this video because y'all already know how I am. So, uh, yeah, if you keep watching this video, just don't leave no bullshit in my comment section below because I will block your ass okay all right I will block you okay just so you know I will block your ass okay all right so as you can see from the title of this video I want a sugar daddy I have a sugar daddy some shit like that I'm gonna name it I don't know it's late whatever the hell my fingers hit when I hit the damn keyboard and now but anyway I wanted to make this video for my girl I had to come on here and make this because to be honest with you I can relate to you in this situation girl but I gotta be y'all y'all already know you know me and her been messaging back and forth for about two three weeks now she's cool but girl I'm gonna keep it 100 real with you now you already know I'm gonna keep it 100% real girl that's what I gotta do so basically y'all already know I don't sit there and read the entire letter and stuff like that because a lot of it be long and shit like that y'all already y'all already know that I'm long-winded so I ain't gonna even do no shit like that but I will give you a shortened version basically basically this girl she's i think she said she's 18 she's about to turn 19 next about what two three months i think she got a birthday in like three months she's gonna be turning 19 years old and she's gonna be starting college in the fall so congratulations to you girl so basically she said um her parents are very supportive but they're not financially able to help her get like books and you know, about food and, you know, college is expensive as shit. You know what I'm saying? If you went to college, I went to college. I went to Troy State University and that shit is expensive. Even though you get grants and maybe a loan or two, that shit is still high, especially room and board. Then you got to, you know what I'm saying, eat and then you got to buy books. Hell, half of the shit, like the financial aid, that shit pretty much for me only covered my damn classes. I still had to buy my own books. I had to buy food, girl. That shit is high as a motherfucker. So I, I feel your pain when it comes to college expensive plus you gotta buy you know personal items like toilet paper they don't provide you with that shit you gotta buy that shit yourself okay so girl i feel your pain but congratulations on starting your first year of college basically um like i said she said her parents are very supportive but they're not really financially able to help her um basically pay for school and she said um i, I forgot what she said she's majoring in but the shit sounded pretty complicated to me, girl. I made it in criminal justice psychology, and I, I like to been died doing that shit. But girl, congratulations to you. But anyway, in a nutshell, what she wanted to know, what she wanted my opinion on, and she said she met this guy at her church. She said he's six or two years old, y'all. Now that's that's gonna be a whole nother situation in itself. She said a guy's six or two years old, and he's kind of offered to help her pay for college and he said he just wanted you know um maybe to take out on a couple of dates and have a few conversations and all this type of stuff first let me just say he don't he don't want to just have a few conversations with you that's that's number one and she said he said he will help her in the process of them being you know friends and you know he'll give her money every month or however however they make their arrangement and she basically wanted to know what i felt about that look let me tell you something Ain't no man. I don't give a damn if he go to your church. I don't give a damn if he, uh, 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 uh who he is. Look, he not finna, unless he your daddy or your uncle or somebody like that or your cousin, he not finna give you something and not expect anything in return with your conversation. That's some straight up bullshit. Don't think that just because he go to your church that, uh, he just gonna give you money and just, uh, charge to the game because he a church member honey child no let me tell you let me tell you about my experience now back in the back back day now look let, let me first reiterate i didn't i didn't lay down with this man so don't don't get it twisted don't sit there and be saying oh thick chick blogs fucking these old ass men because that's a lie okay i ain't never laid down with the old ass man can't no old ass man ever tell you he got in between these thighs never ever i never ever look 
But let me say this. Back in the back back day, I was thinking the same thing. You know how you, you know, I when I got my first apartment, I'll never forget. I got my first apartment and my mom and dad, they spoiled the hell out of me. Now, I could call my mom and dad and I could ask them for anything in the world and they'd give it to me. But, you know, being grown, I wanted to try to do things on my own. I had a job. Um, I went to college, all that good stuff. But sometimes I just couldn't make damn ends. Me, you know, you, shit, you got the light bit, especially when you first moving out on your own. You know, it's, you're trying to ma learn how to manage things. So I had light bill, I had rent, I had to eat, I had, uh, uh, I didn't have a gas bill, but you know, you got cell phone bills, you got cable, you got all this type of shit that you got to pay for. So I met this older guy and shit, you know, he offered to help me pay a few things, you know what I'm saying? Just for my damn friendship. Like I said, I'm young, just like you are. And I'm thinking this nigga just doing this shit out the kind of his heart. So I'm like, yeah, you know, um, of course, you know, I don't have a problem with having a few conversations with you look until, okay. That sugar daddy wanted some motherfucking sugar. And I don't mean no goddamn uh, uh, a granulated sugar or no brown sugar. No, I'm talking about some sugar. Sugar, sugar. Some sugar, sugar. So look, let me tell you something. Do not believe this nigga when he tell you he just want to give you a few dollars for your conversation, friendship, take you out on a few days. No, honey, because eventually he going to want to get in between them goddamn thighs, okay? He going to want to get in between them goddamn thighs. Let me tell you something my grandma used to tell me back in the day. She's a girl, do not fuck with them old ass men. She said, let me tell you something. When you fucking them old ass men, they ain't doing nothing but pissing in you, thinking they nothing good. I died and went through hell on that day when she told me that shit. She said, they do, ain't doing nothing but pissing in your ass and thinking they damn nothing. Giving you the worms, girl. 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 Pissing in you and giving you the goddamn worms. So look, you ask me, do I think that you should do it? Hell to the now. Don't do it. Don't fuck around with it. Well, let me tell you something. I know this is your first year in college, so you probably don't know. But look, they have work study um, where you can sign up for these work study jobs. And you can be a um, like what they call a monitor. Like when, you know, um, at least at my college, they have what they call the monitor. Like if you have visitors that come in the dorm, they will have to sign in. So basically they had one of the people who lived in the dorm that sat at the front door whenever they weren't in class or whatever. And they basically monitored the door and they paid for that type of stuff they also have uh work study jobs to work in the cafeteria they have work study jobs working in the library um all all these places on campus i'm not really sure of the school that you're going to but i would really suggest that you look into work study also you know when you're not in class and not at, at, in the evening time or whatever a lot of times around these college campuses they have a lot of restaurants around these college class college campuses you know because it's, it's a college campus and you know Shit, what college kid don't want some McDonald's? So what I would suggest is for you to map out the area. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's far away from your home or if it's near your home. I mean, not your home. Far away from your college or near your college. I know you said you're going to be staying on campus. So I would do like a sur surveillance of the surrounding area of the college. I'm not sure if you have a car. Just in case, you know, just, just do a little bit of research, research and see if you can find like a, a fast food job or even a clothing store, you know, that's close to the college or something where you can get a, a job. But look, I would not suggest you um, take this dude money because I'm pretty sure your mom and dad, you know, um, they wouldn't be wanting you to take this dude money, especially from the church. Cause I'm pretty sure you go probably go to the same church that your mom and dad go to. And I'm pretty sure if your dad had found out this old ass man, so he'll give you a couple dollars for you to be his friend, girl. That man probably be ready to slit his motherfucking throat. Because I know I would or that was my goddamn daughter. You talking about some 18 years old, your ass six or something. Talking about something, you going to give her a couple of dollars for to be your goddamn friend. Fuck is wrong with you? That you can't get no in your own goddamn age. Let me let, like I'm saying. Like I said, look, I, I done been there. I done done that, okay? So I, I, I feel your pain when it comes to, you know, thinking that somebody just want to be your friend and give you a couple of dollars. No, honey. No, honey, he's trying to get in between them thighs. And like my grandmama said, he ain't going to be doing them pissing up and you giving you worms, girl. Do not fuck around with the old ass man. Try to find you a work study job or maybe a job at some kind of fast food restaurant or something like that so you can make, you know, a few coins or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or try to, you know, like I said, you can even Google. Um, they have tons of damn grants. Like I said, I know a lot of us don't really know about this shit, but it's tons of free money on the internet where you can Google and write papers and get scholarships and grants and all this type of stuff. So, girl, there are tons of options. But, no, I would not 
give you no advice to talk to this old ass man for no money because honey he is lying to you about some conversation that man don't want no damn conversation that man wants some of your damn goodies i'm telling you read the book now he do not want no damn conversation he wants some of your nookie good so don't fuck with him don't don't fuck with him that's some pedophilia type of shit anyway fuck you 62 years old and you want to be my damn friend and i ain't but 18 really you probably got goddamn great great grandkids my damn age fuck you got in common with me that you want to be my damn friend so no girl Try to find you a work set a job or something like that. So, look, in the comment section below, I need y'all to go ahead and, you know, y'all heard the story. Give her a little advice on things that she should do to keep from having to try to get this damn uh, uh, nigga who's trying to piss up in her and shit. Look, give her some advice on things that she should do. Like I said, I gave you my suggestions. I suggest that you um, Google some scholarships and grants and things like that. Also, look at look into work study jobs and look in, in surrounding areas around your college and try to see if you go, you know, McDonald's always hiring smiley faces, girl. They always hiring smiley faces. So no, don't talk to the old ass man. You know what I'm saying? Cause he don't want to do shit for pissing. But y'all comment below, thumbs up the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed until the next one family. Bye.